personal trainer for today's video we're gonna do the five rep five set challenge you are gonna be doing five different movements I'm gonna break them down in a little bit but I'll write them right here for you guys so you can get an idea five sets of each movement and you are gonna do only five reps of each movement you are gonna start with squats then you have incline chest press after your incline chest press you have pull-ups then you have curls and finally let's get right into your workout so first thing is first, I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair up because your girl gets hot quick. Don't forget to do a warm-up. You should be doing six different type of warm-up exercises and doing it for 20 to 30 seconds. So make sure to warm up and then you're going to start with your squats. You're doing five squats of five reps. You're going to start with your body weight. You want to make sure when you are coming up, you're squeezing your butt. After your five reps, you're going to progress your weight, obviously, so you can start with either five, eight, ten, depending on your fitness level. I'm going to go ahead and grab five. The only thing about this workout is if you are in the gym, you're going to make a little bit of a mess, so try to be conscious of that. So I'm going to go ahead and do my set number two. Once you do your five reps, you can go ahead and grab eight. Do my five squats. You're gonna go up, I'm gonna go ahead and do my 10. You're still doing five reps. So now that I did my 10, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my 25s. So that was my five set of squats and I gradually increased my weight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you five sets of five breaths of incline chest press. A foam water, that's what I'm gonna use to incline my chest press. So let me go ahead and set that up. So you're gonna have the foam roller on your upper back and you're gonna start with body weight, chest press, and you're gonna do five. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my five. If you notice, I'm not really resting Remember, you only do it five sets of five. Three. You're gonna go ahead and put them down. And then you're gonna go ahead and grab your next weight progressively increasing. And you're gonna give me five. I'm gonna go ahead and increase. I have 10. For the last round, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the barbell. I believe this barbell is 25. After your chest press, you're gonna go ahead and do bent over rows. So I'm gonna show that you get some space. I wouldn't clean up your station yet because you're still gonna progress your weight. So don't really clean it yet. And I'm gonna always, and I'm gonna start with five. If you wanna start with body weight, that's totally fine. So you're gonna bend and just do your bent over rows. Five sets of five reps. You're gonna progress to a different weight.
if you feel like you need a rest that's totally fine i would suggest resting for about two to three minutes between each set if you could challenge yourself just continue each rep without getting any rest Before we end the workout, make sure to tag me at Muscle Pie with your sweaty picture. Make sure to be flexing. I can't wait to see all of your pictures. Let's move on to our next exercise. Your last move is gonna be a pull-up. If you decide you don't wanna pull, do a pull-up, I would just think to do a overhead shoulder press, and that should be your last move. You are still doing five times five. Guys, don't be ashamed of using resistant band for help. Everybody's in a different stage of their journey, so don't be ashamed of adding your resistant band for a pull-up, okay? Another way to progress your move is to remove one band so that you have less support. Thank you, baby! For my people who did not do pull-up, that's totally fine. You can always do your shoulder press and just work on those muscles. Merry Christmas to everyone and I hope that everyone get exactly what they are wishing for. If that's more time with your family, more peace, more organization, whatever that is, I hope you got it.